It's the Cube covering Sapphire Now 2017. Brought to you by SAP Cloud Platform and HANA Enterprise Cloud. Hey, welcome back everybody. Jeff Frick here with theCUBE with ongoing coverage of SAP Sapphire 2017 in Orlando. And we're excited to have Floyd Strimling on the phone. He is the Global Vice President, SAP Cloud Platform, and he is uh, running around the uh, Orange County Convention Center. So uh, Floyd, how are you doing today? I'm doing great, thanks for having me, and I hope you can hear me as it's uh, quite loud in the convention center. I can, hear, I can hear you perfectly. So first off, we actually were just doing a, a kind of a keynote um, analysis of, of Hasso today. You know, we see a lot of keynotes, we go to a ton of conferences, and I thought he was just spectacular. Touched on so many topics, and really seems to be on his game. Yeah, you know what, it, it, it isn't a sapphire unless you attend a Hasso Platinum keynote. You never know what's going to be on the agenda. You never know which way he's going to take it. And I, I thought today he had all the all the big points. I mean, who ever thought you would have seen Tasso doing a, a lecture on GPUs and uh, core conversions uh, as far as what's going on in computing? So I thought he hit on all the great topics. He talked about what the platform is doing, what we're doing with Esperanto Cloud, how we're really taking the company to the next level, and. Uh, his honesty is always uh, refreshing when you look at people on, up there on stage talking. Oh, absolutely, because one of his quotes, and I was live tweeting during the keynote, was, you know, we want to get as fast to the cloud as possible, and you guys um, are, are backing that up with action with all the announcements with, with AWS and Google Cloud Platform. I think you have Azure um, underway, so you're offering your customers a bunch of public uh, cloud choices, and then you know you've rebranded, and now you've also got a, a couple flavors of the SAP cloud. So I wonder, you know, clearly you guys are all in on this cloud thing. You know, I think it's it's interesting that when you look at what's going on in cloud, I I like to say that the first wave was dominated by the infrastructure vendors, and I think the software vendors like SAP. Have a have a very big stake in this, and and are ready to take leadership on what is our vision, how does that impact our customers, and then really looking at much more of a multi cloud approach. So, not sitting here saying we're going to go on one vendor, but staying agnostic. And as you said, we're working with AWS. Uh, you saw Diane Green on stage with with uh, with Google Cloud Platform. Uh, we continue to work with Azure. So, you know, these are key partners to us, but we're, as a software vendor, that agnostic nature for our customers to be able to move uh, workloads onto any of those platforms uh, on top of our cloud platform as a major piece is critical and I think it gives us enormous scale and advantage over, uh, you know, what some other people are doing in the industry. Yeah, because I mean, you have such a great installed base um, and, and you're in so many mission critical applications, obviously with the ERP, background, but the other thing that really struck me, Floyd, was was Hasso's conversation about, you know, a new way to develop applications, and, you know, no more instruction manuals, and intelligent design, and, you know, sharing our roadmap with our customers, and having customers participate in that roadmap. I mean, that was definitely not, you know, SAP's reputation back in the day. It was, you know, the SAP way or the highway, you know, we know best, it's a big monolithic application. That is completely turned upside down, and maybe I haven't been paying attention as to when that started to happen, but you know that was that was a very clear message um, that he's changing the way that you guys build, deliver, and develop software for your customers. You know, I think this has been happening a lot longer than people realize. And when we when we launched out S for Hana, and the transformation that provides to really take the core competency of the company and project it beyond even the next decade, that puts you into this real time notion that now with that type of technology, you need a way to then put more agility, faster app development, better UI experience, better interaction, ability for our customers to take their data and to monetize it in new and different ways and build ecosystems around them. That's why we have the SAP Cloud Platform. It's been designed to be very modern, to be very cloud first, the cloud native way of developing applications and really taking our customers to get the speed of innovation to where they need. You know, really SAP is, is going to help our customers make that, you know, we call it the digital transformation, but I like to just call it the innovation curve, to help them bend that curve so they can start doing more and more. And if you listen to Bill's keynote, 
when he said that you have two companies dropping out of the S&P 500, I think he said every week. That's, that's, that's an amazing statistic and something that our customers have facing disruption at a, such a high rate right. that we've got to be there to help them make this transformation, and that's what we're doing. Yeah, the the other part too. Again, there were so many angles in the in that uh, keynote this morning. Was just the whole machine learning and artificial intelligence because you know it's one thing to talk about it kind of in the abstract, but you know Hasso is very clear. You know, you've had you know airplanes having self uh, self pilots for a long time, but more importantly, you guys have so much data in your systems that you can start to apply the machine learning. Uh, and the AI and these new intelligent applications and, and the, the machine can learn by doing, you know, thousands or millions of repeated scenario processes and start to uh, affect really what, what on some level might seem like mundane or simple processes like invoice matching to actually very, very powerful if you can actually match 94% of the invoices uh, without having a human touch. You know, that's a tremendous business impact. Well, I think you see it. A AI machine learning is, is critical to us. Uh, I know that he's talked about we're going to put this into all of SAP's applications and we're going to offer this to our customers in, in new and interesting ways that change the way you interact with the system. I don't know if you saw some of the things we were talking about around Copilot and the way that you can actually interact with SAP systems, but changing it from the ground up, uh, adding this ability to have the system itself kind of answer, like you're saying, self-answer these questions, be more interactive with you in new and interesting ways, and really free up our customers to innovate and to start doing more with, with their data than they ever thought. And I think what you're going to see is that, you know, machine learning and AI right now, most of it, what, you, what you're seeing on the market are all around more of the consumer-based uh, versions, kind of like what you're doing for ad placements and all those types of things. How you apply that same technology to business is a little bit different, and who better than us than to actually apply it to the business itself to actually get value out of it? Because it's not enough just to have it. Customers have got to get and realize huge business value, which we know is there, and you're going to see a slew of applications. And Ohasa said by next year we'll have 50 of them, but the ones that are coming out there, they're very interesting, they're very unique and innovative, and they can be extended by our customers to specific use cases for themselves. Yeah. The other great analogy that he used today was, you know, kind of comparing Tesla to, I presume, Mercedes. He didn't call it out by name, but you know that that not only is it a different way to have control knobs and 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 this and that in terms of software versus versus even a beautifully designed and ergonomically proper dashboard, but it's also a different buying experience and just a different uh, experience in general and really using that as kind of a. Um, a comparison for really this transformative way that things are being done now that's different from before, and really it's a software enabled and software powered, uh, intelligent design, uh, no manual uh, way of looking at things. So again, just very impressed by the fact that, you know, he's poking fun at one of the best German brands that makes really fine uh, products, saying, yeah, that's great, but you know, software defined is a whole different way to approach the world, and that's what we are, you know, going towards. Well, you saw, I mean, his, his big key is all around user experience and changing that user experience. And, and really, who does read a software manual these days? Uh, I don't think any of us do. So the big advantage is, and the change of what he's really talking about, I love his analogy too, because you know he was looking fun at, at, at one of the major brands, was that ability to deliver innovation free of, of fear or risk to that user. Yeah. So that when you download that application, you're not worried, not doing testing, no one's testing that you know, locally to make sure that their Tesla is going to start in the morning. And then changing that ability to innovate at a rapid pace. And I think you're seeing us do this with the idea of S4 HANA being that digital core and then around it, the cloud platform being the, the, the agile uh, innovation engine that we're delivering all of these really cool applications on top of that could be delivered at a much faster pace, and customers then can ch pick and choose which ones they use, and they're all going to be delivered, you know, much quicker. And I think the the days of of, of really waiting for that big update, going over months and months of testing, are over. We got to get people moving quicker, and we've got to be able to react to what's going on in the industry faster. And that's the whole reason why we transformed the company that we we are, and we're seeing our customers have huge benefits as they make this journey with us. 
So, Floyd, I know you're kind of up against it on the time. It's busy there in Orlando. So I just want to get, you know, give you the final say. Uh, any special surprises, uh, funny chatter coming off the floor? What, what's kind of the vibe there uh, in Orlando on the floor? You know, the, the vibe has been interesting because you got you start off with a keynote from Bill, and then you have Intel, Google, you know, on stage you know, talking about their, their solution sets. And, and, and you have Michael Dell coming out there talking about the, the importance of IT again. And then you had, you know, this Vladimir Klitschko come out there when Byrne was talking and the stark, you know, message he was talking about, about recreating yourself and, and, and watching your path. And then you follow that up with, with Hostel keynote today, which was outstanding about just where the company is. I think the buzz really is that, that SAP now is really going to tell everybody what we're doing in the cloud. We, we, are, we are committed to this. We have a clear strategy, a clear vision. You can see from our performance, we're doing extremely well right now. And we want to really take all of our customers with us and then add a lot along the way as we make this transformation. I think you know, people were always wondering what we're going to do, and I think it's out there right now. We're going to be a multi-cloud company. We're going to offer innovative applications. We're, gonna, we're going to have accelerated bundles of the applications with Leonardo, and then we're going to finish this off with the best digital core on the planet with S4 Hana. And I think it's, uh, it's exciting times here to be at Sapphire, exciting times to be at SAP, and exciting times for our customers. All right, Floyd. Well, I think that's a great summary. And, and uh, you know, I, I think you're fortunate. You've got, you still have that founder DNA. You still got, you know, a really strong founder that, that obviously drives that culture. And uh, the fact that he has embraced these mega trends going forward is only good and clearly reflected in the performance of the company. So uh, thanks for taking a few minutes of your time and I'll let you get back to the action uh, there on the floor in Orlando. All right, thank you, appreciate your time. All right, thanks a lot. That's Floyd Strimling from, uh, from Orlando. He is the global VP of SAP Cloud Platform. I'm Jeff Frick, you're watching theCUBE and our ongoing coverage of SAP Sapphire 2017. Thanks for watching.